Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Ryan from Tough Tech here, and today I'm showing you guys how to make any microphone sound like a studio microphone. So let's get right into it. This is the test to show you guys a microphone without the settings. This is the test to show you guys a microphone with the settings. So if you want to make your microphone sound more like my microphone, like a studio professional microphone, the very first thing we have to go ahead and do is download and install Voice Meter. Now, I'll have this website down in the description below. So make sure you guys go ahead and click on the description right now. It'll bring you to this page. And what you want to go ahead and do is just scroll straight down to the bottom. And it's going to say install voice meter. Now you can go ahead and install the zip package, but it's just the exact same thing. It's just basically a zip folder with this application inside. So we're going to click on this one right here. Go ahead, voice meter 1.0.5.1 XEX file. Go ahead and click install. And as you guys can see, it might say it's a harmful to your computer. It totally is not at all. I'm using it myself. It's a very, very useful program. Just go ahead and press keep if it does pop up. So once it downloads, go ahead and click on it. It's going to go ahead and pop up and go ahead and click yes if it asks you to go ahead and use the program. Just go ahead and follow through everything. Just press accept, press install, and just continue on. Once it's installed, it's actually not even going to show up on your desktop. So what you have to actually go ahead and do is go ahead and search for the program. So you want to go ahead and search for the program. So I'm going to go ahead and type in voice. As you can see, it pops it right away. If you're on Windows 10, just go in the bottom left, go ahead and press search, and just type in the voice meter. So you want to go ahead and click on voice meter and it's going to pop up this application right here. Now the very first thing we're going to do in this program is go ahead and input our microphone. So you can pick number one or pick number two. For some odd reason, I went ahead and picked number two when I first did this myself. So we're going to go ahead and click a little downward, a little box right here where it has the two of the downward. Click on that box and go ahead and pick your microphone. Now make sure you're picking it with MME. Do not pick the WDM because it's going to sound totally different. It doesn't work properly. So go ahead and click on MME and pick your microphone. This microphone right here is my AT2020 condenser microphone. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Next, we're going to go ahead and move over to the top again. And we're going to click on the A1 box. Click on the A1 box. You're going to click... W D M and make sure it's your default speaker. So my default speakers is Realtek Digital Output, Realtek High Definition Audio. So go ahead and, and make sure you guys pick your default speakers in W D M. So now what we're gonna do to make your microphone actually sound a little bit different, make it sound more like a professional and studio microphone. Go back to where we went ahead and inputted the microphone and go ahead and this little tiny red square is gonna be right here in the middle. Go ahead and move it around to wherever you feel the best. I like mine being right about here. As you guys can see, while I'm moving this around, you guys can see my voice is changing. So as you guys can see, my voice has changed over here. Now my voice has changed over here. So I like to have mine right about here. This adds a little bit of bass, but it's still staying back with the default drivers are set on the mic. So I like to have mine right about right here. You guys might like it right here, like it right here. Just go ahead and move it around, move it, and kind of test it around wherever you want. Once you have it where it's at, go ahead and leave it there and just go ahead and minimize the program. This program always has to be opened for your microphone to work. So if you're going to be using voice meter, you want to go ahead and record or go ahead and have this open on Skype or whatever other VOIP you're using, you always want to go ahead and have this opened or else you will not be able to talk to anyone. So once you have your settings set, go ahead and minimize the program. Now we're going to go ahead and set this as our default device. So it goes and it works every single time we're going to be using any program. So you want to go down to the speakers on the bottom right. You're going to right click. You're going to go to recording devices and we're going to go ahead and scroll down over to voice meter output. You want to click on it and press set as default. It's already set as default for mine. So this isn't going to light up for me. Now, if we right click on the program, it should not say set as default. Now, if we go ahead and click on my other microphone that my actual microphone, if we right click on it, it's going to say set as default and set as default communication device. So make sure you right click on this and it does not say that because then that means it's going to be working. So press set as default, click apply and then click OK. Now there's one more thing you go ahead and do to make your microphone sound a little bit more professional. And this is actually by setting the levels of the microphone. Now that you have like a lot of background, a lot of people in the background all the time, like closing doors or cooking or just doing anything in the background, you can go ahead and take that out a little bit. So you want to go to your microphone, you want to right click, click properties, go to levels and set this to 70. The default is usually 100. So if you ever have people in the background, they're very, very loud. And this is going to tone them down a little bit. And it also tones down your voice a little bit more and make it a little bit more smoother. So I like to have this around 70. Go ahead and move it around to wherever you want. Maybe you'll like 60. But don't go past 50 because 50 is kind of getting really, really low. And your voice is going to be very, very quiet to people. So kind of go about like 
but I would say about 60 to about 75. Kind of test all those areas. Once you found one that you like, go ahead and click apply and then click OK. But that's going to wrap it for this tutorial. If you guys have any concerns or any questions about anything about this video, go ahead and tell me down in the comments. If you guys have any suggestions for any other videos, also go ahead and tell me down in the comments. But if this video did help you out, please go ahead and drop a thumbs up on it. I'll greatly appreciate that. And hopefully I'll see you guys in one of my next videos.